In this episode of High Output Juice, we are going to look at power consumption by this M12 fuel circular saw provision, power provision by a variety of M12 batteries. I got a CP 2.0, a CP 3.0, a CP 2.5 high output, an XC4, and an XC5 high output. Now, since earlier videos, I've added an extra CP2 to my collection. I got a new one, the one from previous tests that was a little bit on the way out. I'm going to test it again anyways, because it is a uh, typical battery that's, well, maybe about halfway through its lifespan. Now, in order to evaluate how much power this tool is consuming, uh, how much power is being provided by these batteries, I'm going to use my M12 line splitter that you use with a clamp meter, and that gives real-time current draw by the tool. Now, in addition to that, I can hook up a multimeter, and the multimeter is going to allow us to measure voltage of the battery. A voltage times current gives us power in watts. Now, in order to give this tool a bit of a workout, rather than the stock 16 tooth blade, I have here a 36 tooth finish blade, and we're gonna do a maximum depth cut into this rather, rather hard block of uh, maple. I'll let the tests commence. Can you believe I did a full set of tests and I forgot to roll the camera? Anyways, let's test again for the first time. I got volts here, I got amps there, I threw a tachometer into the mix, and the first battery up is a CP 2.0. It's my older battery, notice that the starting voltage is a little bit on the lower side. Full depth cut. New CP 2.0. CP 3.0. CP 2.5 high output. XC 4.0 And lastly, a high output XC 5.0 And the results are in. Starting voltage, a little bit more variable this time than my previous tests. I think that's just because some of these batteries aren't fully charged and they're not discharged enough that the charger is recognizing that fact and, uh, well, it's not initiating a charge cycle. The one exception would be the CP 2.0, my older battery. This one I did a couple discharges on it, enough so that the charger would recognize it and then run and do a cycle. And I never got this one above 12 volts. It's one of my older batteries, but I threw it in the test for a real world case scenario of a typical typical sort of a battery. All the other batteries, however, are fairly new and in good condition, never being abused. They're fairly comparable. Insofar as power output, uh, what I thought was the most interesting result is that the CP2 and the CP3, uh, these two batteries put out identical watts to each other. I was expecting the 2.0 to put out a little bit more power than the 3.0 when it was brand new, but, well, that's not really the case. Unsurprisingly, the high output 2.5, that puts out more power than any of the CP batteries, just like the marketing claim for Milwaukee would suggest, except not. Uh, Milwaukee claims 25%. I found about 16% improvement. Well, 16%, that's not bad at all. It's still, it's still worth it, in my opinion. Yeah, those little uh, high output batteries, they're fantastic. The XC batteries, because they're doubled up, uh, they're, there's two sets of cells in parallel, 
uh, they put out more power regardless as to whether they're the old style or the new uh, high output styles. However, the high output definitely does put out more power than the 4.0. It has better cells. Uh, cells are able to put out more, more amps at a time. And because of that, this high output put out about 10% more watts uh, than this XC 4.0. Now, insofar as bogging the saw down, all of the batteries did reasonably well, except for my, my lame battery. The, this one here really slowed down a, a fair bit. Uh, but the other batteries, they did fine. I think that might be more due to my sawing technique. I, I, when I'm pushing the saw through, I'm not trying to just jam it in as hard as possible. I'm trying to make the cut as quick as possible. I guess I'm listening to the saw, and I, I'm, I'm listening to the speed of the saw, that it's not bogging down too much. And maybe, it's, maybe that's, these results are more due to my own technique than anything else. Time, the time to get the cut done. Those results are pretty valid in my opinion because they match uh, the power output of these cells to the saw. They match it exactly, well, except in inverse with the smaller batteries taking a little bit longer, the higher output being a little bit quicker, the XC being faster, and the XC high output ruling the roost and getting the job done as quick as possible. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Take care and bye bye.